Where will your next tipping pad be located? Will your current lined area last until next year? Are your access roads, stockpiles, and haul roads in the best locations for the longest use? Your landfill sequence plan provides answers to these and other important questions, but it does more than just show an arbitrary sequence of filling, it shows an optimized operation. By optimizing your landfill sequence plan, we ensure the overall operation is as productive and cost-effective as possible. An optimized sequence plan also provides a basis for budgeting and scheduling major landfill projects. Access Road Construction. This sheet shows where you'll start filling in accordance with this fill sequence plan. The large arrows show the direction of filling. The heavy line shows the limit of work and where the current filling will tie into existing grade. These are provided as reference points only and in some cases you'll need to modify the tie-in point to fit actual field conditions. Initially, you'll construct the access road shown here. This access road provides, in essence, a shortcut down into the lined area. It is constructed to a width of 25 feet and a longitudinal slope of 5%. Also note that the road slopes slightly toward the bank, and although no ditch is shown here, surface runoff will be directed toward the bank and will be collected by one of two culverts shown on the plan. Be sure to place the culverts in the location and elevation shown on these drawings. We'll review specific details in a few moments. The slope below this access road should be constructed at a 3 to 1 slope. And finally, because of the depth of this fill, nearly 30 feet at the south end, it should be constructed in two lifts. Phase 1 represents almost 26,000 cubic yards of filling. We anticipate this will take 1.4 months to complete. Once the access road in Phase 1 has been constructed, you'll begin placing waste across the entire deck of the recently lined area. In order to avoid creating a drainage problem, you will generally start at the high end and fill in the direction of the slope. In this case, that means you start on the east end of the lined area and move generally to the west. This drawing shows placement of a 10-foot deep lift. Be sure to maintain a minimum 2% slope on top of this lift. When this lift of trash reaches the upper culvert, which was placed during construction of the access road, the culvert should be removed. The lower culvert should be left intact. Once this lift reaches the west edge, tie into the existing 3 to 1 slope. In order to prevent erosion on the west slope, you'll be constructing two down drains and a soil berm. Phase 2 represents just over 50,000 cubic yards of filling. We anticipate this will take approximately 2.7 months to complete. This sheet shows placement of another 10-foot lift in the same area. Follow the same guidelines as you did for Phase 2, that is, 2% slope on top, tying into a 3 to 1 slope on the west edge. Remember, continue to work from east to west. When you reach the west edge, you'll be extending the down drains and creating another soil berm. Phase 3 represents approximately 63,000 cubic yards of filling. We anticipate this will take approximately 3.5 months to complete. This sheet shows you again placing a 10-foot lift in the same area. The same guidelines apply. 2% slope on top, tying into a 3 to 1 on the west edge. You will again be extending the down drains and constructing a soil berm. However, this sheet shows creation of a grade break near the east end at an elevation of 3,142. Everything west of this point drains to the west, and that small area east of the grade break drains back to the east. Phase 4 represents nearly 81,000 cubic yards of filling, which we estimate will take approximately 4.4 months to complete. This sheet shows placement of a tapered lift as you create a grade reversal in this area. Please note that when completed, the top deck slopes 2% back to the east. We've anticipated that this will be created in three stages, as shown in this cross-section. Remember, cross-sections are typically labeled in chronological order, starting with AA, BB, etc. Cross-sections are cut along the line between the letters, in this case, AA, and viewed in the direction of the arrows. As you did earlier, you'll work toward the west, creating a 10-foot lift whenever possible. However, 
As you can see, the lift thickness will vary in some areas. No down drains will be required here. However, you will be constructing a bench along the west slope. This bench will direct surface water to the west. The elevation of this bench is critical because the goal is to tie this bench into the main access road and direct drainage back to the east. Phase 5 represents over 107,000 cubic yards of filling. We estimate this will take approximately 5.9 months to complete. 